New video into the Way 31 newsroom of the damage left behind in Lee County. This was taken by a drone in Salem, just east of Opelika. Trees snapped in half, houses ripped off their foundations and shredded. Tonight, emergency crews are still working to access, access rather the hardest hit areas. Way 31 is bringing you team coverage tonight as the rest of the state offers a helping hand to those who have to start all over in East Alabama. All day, Way 31 has been scouring our sources for new information. Here is the very latest. Less than an hour ago, the National Weather Service released new information from its preliminary report on the EF4 tornado. Officials said the path of destruction stretched at least 24 miles long. They also estimated the twister was just under one mile wide. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. Naja Sherman has the evening off. We start tonight with Way 31 Sydney Martin, who's live in Lee County tonight after talking to one man who saw the storm rip through and who is out trying to help the victims today. Dan, I talked to a man whose daughter has friends that live about two miles from where we are. He told me the devastation farther up this road looks the same as about what we're seeing here. Lots of downed trees and debris. Now take a look at this video of the damage we've seen throughout the, on this road throughout the day today. People in the community have been out searching for victims, along with assisting with cleanup throughout the day. Take a listen to what one man I talked to described as the devastation he saw firsthand as he tried to help clean up a family friend's house. It's like you just took it and flipped it completely upside down and refurnished it. It's just like you just rolled it over. It was like four or five of her little friends in that, in that house. And now you're looking at a different house just up the road. You can see trees are knocked all over the yard and covering parts of this home. That homeowner didn't want to talk on camera. She was too emotional. Tonight, that woman told me, although she fared well, she has family that actually lives up the road who did not survive the uh, tornadoes yesterday. We'll be out here keeping you guys updated throughout the evening. Live in Lee County, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. Thanks.